Student request, basic tips for drawing better eyes. There are many lessons available about drawing eyes. These are just tips that I've personally benefited from. When drawing eyes, it's helpful to understand what's below the skin. Your eyeball is a sphere, well, close to a sphere. Lines drawn on a sphere will curve around the sphere. In the middle of the eyeball, there are two circles. The smaller black one is called the pupil. It's actually black because it's a hole that allows light into your eye. The colored part around the pupil is called the iris. The iris is actually a muscle that will make the pupil larger or smaller. The eyeball is a wet surface. This is often shown by adding highlights to the eye to make it look shiny. Eyes are pointed on the ends. It might be helpful to draw these points first. They should be about twice as far apart as the iris is wide. The top of the eyelid curves over the eyeball from point to point. Same with the bottom eyelid. You will find that usually at least one eyelid will partially cover the iris. Eyelashes and eyebrows should be drawn as shapes. Don't try to draw each individual hair. The size of the iris can be changed for artistic effects, but too small and your character will look creepy. Notice how it looks less creepy the bigger it gets. Too big! About half the width of the eye is usually just right. The eye somewhat changes shape depending on the direction it's looking. It will usually be more rounded the way it's looking. Mostly the shape of the eye will change because of the eyebrows. Eyebrows changing position is what gives eyes emotion. I recommend looking at your own eyes in a mirror. Or take a selfie. Or just look at photos of other people's eyes. Some common problems I see with students' eye drawings. These are too round. These are too close together. These have too small pupils. And the eyelashes are drawn individually. Cartoon eyes can be any shape. Usually the bigger and shinier they are, the happier they look. To draw scary eyes, first make the pupils small. Then add more and more details and wrinkles. In general, if you want eyes to be pretty, use the least lines possible. Try it out. 